Hello everyone, welcome back to Virtual Code Club. Hope you're doing okay in the lockdown. We've all been hearing that the way to defeat coronavirus is first thing you need to do is understand it. And so this week we're going to be doing a simulation of a pandemic. So I'm going to start by making my sprite into a little person who is uh, a, a healthy little person who's moved around. Um, and I'm gonna, then I'm going to make lots of little people that move around and then one of them gets a virus and gets sick and infects other people and we'll see how many people survive. So my sprite, instead of this, um, instead of the cat, it's going to be um, a, a little person. So I, I, I'm going to choose a different sprite. It's going to be, um, it's going to be Andy. Um, so I'll get rid of the cat. Um, and we're going to have um, two versions of Andy. Uh, so I'm going to look at his costume. Um, we'll have Andy, Andy with his arms down. Um, and this is, this is healthy Andy and I'm going to make a sick Andy that's green. First of all, I'm going to make him smaller so that because I'm going to have lots of lots of little people all moving around the screen, so they, all of them have got to be smaller. So I'm going to select all of Andy uh, and um, make him much smaller. Put him in the middle of the screen. Uh, there he is. I'm going to get rid of these other other costumes. I'm going to make my own costumes. And I'm going to put a circle around him. And this circle is the air that he breathes and the air that he breathes out. So here's the circle around him. And uh, I better make it so you can see through it. Uh, purple isn't such a good colour. So um, I have it sort of very pale yellow like that. And... Um, I need to send it to the back so he's at the front so you can see him. Right, I'll put this circle, I'll put Andy in the middle of the circle. So there's my healthy Andy, healthy person. So this uh, this costume is called healthy. Um, and I'm gonna, now going to make a view of him when he's sick. So I will right click on that, duplicate, duplicate, and now this one is going to be called sick. Um, so the air that he breathes is no longer going to be this uh, pinky colour, it's going to be a bit green. Uh, there's the there's the green, green background, now I need to make it, um, I need to make that, there's the green. And then I'm going to make him green as well, but a darker green. So uh, let's find a good colour for a sick, sick person. Now that's, that looks that looks pretty sick. I'll have that one. So now I'm going to fill instead instead of his skin being brown, it's going to go green, and his legs and his face. I can't quite get his face. I think I'm just making up oh, there. He's, yeah, his face has gone green. So there's there's my sick my sick man. Um, we'll, we'll start off with the healthy one. Right, now I'm going to make him move around the screen. So I'm going to start off with uh, the flag. Start to get the flag to start me off. And then um, uh, I'm going to make him move around forever. So in control, I'll go forever. And I'm going to make him turn in a different position and then move. So, uh, motion. Well, first of all, I'll go turn 15 degrees and then move 10 steps. So this one, I think it's just going to go around in a circle. Let's see. Yep, it's just going around in a circle. We'll stop that. Uh, now I'm going to move, move, make him move in a random direction. So instead of turning by 15 degrees, I'm going to choose an operator and I'm going to pick a random number between 0 and 360 so he moves in a random 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 direction so 
There he is, moving all, moving lots of random directions around the screen. I'm going to make him move a bit further every time. So instead of 10, I'm going to move 50. Ooh, and now he's moving a lot. He's, uh, ooh, he's going off the screen, so I better do the if on edge bounce. That's in motion. Uh, if on edge bounce, so he doesn't go off the screen. That's better. Um, and he's going very fast. I'm going to put a weight in there. That's in control. So wait for one second. That's a bit. That's a bit more calm. So now he's wandering around all by himself, healthy. Uh, so the next thing to do is um, well, I'm going to make a variable because we're going to see what happens when he moves different distances and I want that to be able to set the difference in a different place so I'm going to make a variable called distance make a variable and this is the amount he moves and I want to just change that in one place and I can see what a, how if it makes a difference how much difference he moves so I'll put uh, set distance to 50 and in here instead of moving 50 steps I'm going to make him move distance steps so I need to I need to run that uh, it needs a when clicked thing there now he's moving 50 um, so now uh, we need to make it so when he touches a sick person he gets sick. Uh, so when touching is, uh, so I need an if to, to do the check. If uh, touching is in sensing, I'm going to make it if touching a colour because sick people are a different colour. So I'm going to, uh, I'll just make him sick so I can get the, the so I know the colour I want. So if touching, so this colour, I'm going to fill it in from, I'm going to get it from here. Did I get it? No, I've got white. Stop. That's a good idea. So I need to, so I need to fill this colour, fill. That's the one I want. Yeah, so now if it's if he's touching touching that colour, touching a sick person, he's gonna get sick. So if we're touching that, we're gonna switch the costume. So uh, switch costume to sick if he touches a sick person. And then he's gonna carry on walking for around a bit and then die. So he's gonna carry on, so we need some more repeats for him to carry on walking around a bit. Uh, so that'll be in control. Now this time I'm just going to repeat 10 times because he's going to carry on walking around a bit and then die. So the uh, after so I'll put so the walk carry on walking around a bit I want to do this again pick a random number and move a distance and if on edge bounce and wait one second. So I want to copy that block into there. So I'm going to I'll copy the whole lot duplicate. So now the bit I want to copy is those four things there. So it does the same thing, wait, turn in a random direction, move, and bounce. Right, so let's see what happens now. Well now, it's, it's, now he'll just carry on going around the same because he, he's not going to touch a different colour because there's only one of him. Uh, and now we want to, after he's moved around, uh, after he's moved around 10 times, he dies. So that's he, we're going to hide him to make him die. That is a look, hide. So after, so after this repeating all that, we put it in there. So it's inside the if. So it does that repeat, and then it's inside the if it hides. Uh, so I'll get rid of this. Um, and we want, because we've got the hide at the end, we want to make sure that you can see him at the beginning. So we'll put show at the beginning. 
and we'll also make sure that he starts off healthy so switch costume to healthy at the beginning so let's make sure that when we start this he starts off healthy yeah starts off healthy now so now that'll just carry on going for like that and he'll never get sick because he'll ne there's no green for him to touch he'll never touch a sick person so I'm going to make a lot more people and then I'm going to start off by making one of them sick uh, I'm going to um, get rid of this while I make a lot of people so I'm going to duplicate I've got this one person I'm going to make uh, lots I'm going to make five of them and then one of them I'll call it Andy one they all start off healthy but Andy one is going to start off sick right let's start that from the beginning see what happens there he started off sick oh and he's touched another one oh they're all getting sick they've all got sick huh so now they're all going to die they're going to move around for a bit and then die are they going to die they're going to die oh they're all dying okay we'll start we'll start that again now i'm going to stop it and then start it again but i'm going to stop it now i'm going to start them off all further apart let's give them a better chance okay and go so now we're starting off with this one sick maybe they won't all get sick and die let's see no they start off further apart and they're not getting sick oh that's good but it depends on the distance you travel this is where we've all been told that we can't travel long distances during the lockdown so let's change this distance so just for Andy one the one who starts sick I'm gonna set the distance so uh, events when the green flag is clicked and variables set distance so let's if they all if they all um, if they all move around a really long distance there's no controls if they all move a hundred I think they might all get sick and die because there's no lockdown so we'll stop that there we'll start it off again and we'll start them all off far, far apart from each other right go they're all going to move distance 100 oh two of them got sick three oh, i think the two might survive there's the green ones are dying yes two oh eh, ah, yeah oh. and they all got sick and died right now we'll try and set it we'll we'll set, we'll now we'll, we'll have a lockdown. You're only allowed to move distance 10. See what happens. Okay, we're, we're going to stop it there and start them all far apart. Give them a chance. But now they're in lockdown, so they're only allowed to move a short, very sh small distance. And maybe they will all survive before this. Oh, no, this, this sick guy is never going to die because he doesn't, he just starts off with a sick costume he never gets into the sick loop but I think he's not going to infect the others because they're not moving around very much that's good so that that's a demonstration of why social distancing works um, and now I'm going to change this back to 50 and see what happens right, so I go to the first one has got the set distance change this to 50 and stop it and start it again and they're all, they're they're moving around more, so they infect each other more. Are they going to infect? Yes. Um, I'd really like to see some other people having a go on this and see if you can. You might choose to make it different. I'd like to know what you what you find. So please put it on the Caversham Primary School Code Club uh, Studio, and have a look at other people's code and comment on it. Thank you very much for listening.